Hey guys, today we're unboxing the iPhone 14 Pro in gold. Alright, so there's not only the iPhone, of course. We have three cases to unbox with that. So we have the silicone case in storm blue. It's just called storm blue, who cares? Um, and we got the clear case. And finally, umber case in leather. I'm really excited for this one actually because I think it will work the best with this one. So let's put these on the side. Let's put this bag on the floor. And let's get to unboxing parts. All right, so as you can see, since I think it was last year, Apple removed the plastic wrap around the box. So now it's only these two little peel thingies to unbox. So that's what we're going to do right now. One and two. These in the bag. And then do this. Are you ready for this? <gasps> wow, it's so not. Wow, wow. No way. It's so beautiful. <gasps> no way. Look at this. It's right here. It's. Oh, I'm so excited for this phone. Yo, it's gonna be such an upgrade for my 11 Pro. And you can see. On the paper thing is, I don't know if you can see it properly on the camera, it has little icons here to tell you what the buttons on the sides are for. So we got volume up, volume down, and the side button over here, and the mute switch, as you probably already know. Alright, so, now for the little screen peel, maybe it's going to be satisfying, we don't know yet. This one is paper, so I'm not sure. I heard it. I don't know if you guys heard it, but I heard it. This in the that was on the floor. All right. So here's the iPhone 14 Pro, and it's really beautiful. I'm really excited to start using this phone. So let's power it on, just like this. Just like this. Oh, there we go. And while it's turning on. Let's check out the accessories we get. Now, of course, we only get one, plus paperwork. So we got the little, let's pause this for now, and let's check out the beautiful little animation that says hello in a bunch of languages. It is so nice. As you can see, you can see the little dynamic island over here. We'll talk about that later in the video. But yeah, it's, it's gonna be amazing. All right, let's check out this cable. Not very, not much to talk about. It's a lightning to USB-C cable. It's white. You can see it's white. Yep. And of course we get some little paperwork. Do we get stickers? Yes, we do. There we go. Little sticker. I'm gonna find some place to put it on. I have like tons of those. Never used them. I'm gonna find a place for those eventually. Put this back in the box right here. And we will go to accessories. So for the umber leather case, it looks like this. Wait a second. Is there no sim? Oh, there we go. We forgot about that. See, there's actually a second accessory, a little SIM tool remover. I won't be using it a lot, you know. In the US models, they don't even have it because they removed the um, physical SIM spot, whatever. Um, so yeah, let's get back to this case. So we have the umber leather case right here. It's, it's brown, but it's, it has kind of like a red tone to it. It's, it's beautiful. Let's put it on this iPhone real quick to see what it looks like. Oh, we got the little animation for that. I'm so happy. This looks really nice, you know? It looks, it looks amazing. 
Yo, this I think it's gonna be my favorite case. But yeah. And to remove it, wow, this is harder than the other ones. Because as you can see, it has a part over here too. So before then have this part over here on the case, so you just like select this and it works. But now you have to like press on four corners. Kinda do it. It's kinda hard. We'll get it eventually. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Let's see, it worked. Um, what else do we get here? Not much. Paperwork. Something to tell us how to put a case on. I think we all know how to put a case on. I think. I think we don't need that. Let's put this over here on the side, and let's put this over here. Now, let's check out this cool clear case, which has the little maxi thingy over here that you can see. Both other cases have maxi, of course. Oh, wait, that's how you do it. It's just that this one, you can actually see. So sorry guys, I had some technical difficulties yesterday filming, so I could show you the full unboxing of um, the cases, but I will show you what the other two cases look like on the iPhone 14 Pro. So you can see, it's nice and compatible, clear case looks clear, looks good. And now let's... See, I found a technique yesterday. You just push on the camera and usually it works. Now apparently it doesn't. There we go. And finally, here is the blue case. It looks even better. So now that my iPhone is all set up, well, we'll show you a few features, a few things I like from the iPhone 14 Pro, and then we'll go test it out outside. We'll go do a bunch of camera testing and just have fun outside with, with the camera. I have one of my friends that's gonna film with me later. So yeah, first I want to show you a game I found, which is really perfect for iPhone 14 Pro and takes advantage of the notch. Well, it's the dynamic highlights, not a notch, sorry. So it's like, you just, oh, I lost. <laughs> Let's replay that. You just, I have to look at my, okay, let's, I want to look at my screen. There you go. Just have to, but how am I so bad? Let's try one more time. And at one point, goal is to touch the dynamic island. All right, I'm, I'm really bad at this. But yeah, that's a cool game I found. Then if I will, if you want to see like how smooth transitions are with the dynamic island and its integration with the software, let's play. Let's play a song. Just okay, volume is off. Good, we don't want to copyright strike. So let's play Thank You Next, like this. Now let's swipe bam into the dynamic island. It's so smooth and great. Now, if I want to control it from the dynamic island, I can long press, and here it is. I have my controls and everything. Another really cool feature on the iPhone 14 Pro is the ability to have an always on display up, just like this. So now my display is on, and now it's off, but it's technically always on. You can have the time, your wallpaper, like just dimmer. You can even see it's locked from the dynamic island. And now of course, if I had other widgets on here, for example, let's take this one here. This is the weather one. 
And you do this. And you can still see your widgets over here on the lock screen. Still with the wallpaper, it's so cool. And yeah. And the cool thing is that it doesn't take it doesn't really take a lot of battery power. Um now of course the battery of the iPhone 14 Pro is amazingly amazing. Um yeah, so I used it yesterday and from the moment I set it up to the like the evening when I put it on charge, so maybe a few maybe six hours of time. It only and I, I kept I kept using it, you know. It only took like maybe twenty percent of my battery max. So yeah, I found this found that really impressive, and I think it's a really cool feature on on this iPhone. All right, so it is now time to go outside and have fun with this iPhone. We are going to test out a few things which are new to iPhone 14 Pro. We're going to test out more stuff um, that were already available on the previous generations, but are still cool to see and experiment how the quality is going to be better on this iPhone. We're going to test out some iOS 16 things, like, um, what is it called again? Oh yeah, live activities, right? Yeah. So basically, if I'm on a workout and I want to follow my workout on my lock screen, it's going to get here. We're going to test that out outside. We're going to test out action mode on the camera, which is new to iPhone 14 Pro and all the iPhone 14s. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys outside. Hi, welcome to outside. I got my Starbucks with me. I won't be needing it for the video, but it's always good to have a sip before filming, you know? So first, for the first feature we're gonna test out, which is new to iPhone 14s, is action mode. Action mode is basically when you wanna, you know, when you're filming someone running and you have to run with the person to film, to catch up to them. Usually it doesn't stabilize, it's, it's shaky, you know? But with iPhone 14 and 14 Pros, it'll actually stabilize really good. So I have my friend behind the camera who's gonna be my guest for this um, little clip in the video. And I'm gonna film him with the iPhone 14 Pro. So now we're going to test out another feature, which was already available on older models like iPhone 13 Pros and the non-Pros too, which is cinematic mode. Cinematic mode is basically the best version of filming a movie with an iPhone. You'll see it's amazing, it's like portrait mode video. We'll test it out to see the quality on iPhone 14 Pros and see if it's way better or it's even, probably better, you know, so let's test it out. You may know there was a feature available on last year's iPhones called macro photography. Now macro photography is simply amazing. You can get really close to an object and really see the details on that object, in that object. It's it's like it's like your eyes get even better. Now with the iPhone 14 Pros, it is also available, but will it be better? Let's test it out.
I am so sorry, but the feature which is live activities has not been updated yet for Nike Run Club, so we're not going to be able to test it out. But instead, I have another test for you. It's a slow motion video. Enjoy. That was it for the video. Thanks for watching the unboxing, the testing, and everything. And I'll see you guys next time.